I thought I'd try to do a quick look at what curriculum we're going to be using this year for kindergarten, third grade, and eighth grade. So for my going to be kindergartner, I went ahead and got Right Start Math. I had thought about using McRuppy Math again, but I just could not could not do it. Right Start is so amazing on how they start them, and I really wanted her to have a really good sense of numbers. So we went with Right Start, and I went ahead and bought it at a local used curriculum store. We're still going to use Handwriting Without Tears. She started this one a little bit, but she is not like workbooks, I found out last year at all. So um, it takes her a long time to get through a workbook, and so we're going to continue using this. I bit the bullet and bought Teach Your Child to Read in 100 Easy Lessons. It looks intimidating. <laughs> I've always just winged it, and I've taught them by kind of making up my own, but I found out with my fifth, I need help. I need a laid out plan. And then I also went ahead and got her one of this. It's Plants for Beginners from God's Design, and it has a bunch of little workbooks and stuff, and you can actually copy them for one family. You can go ahead and copy them and use the same um, just one set, but I found out with print and paper and time, it wasn't worth it, um, according to the price. So this is what I'm going to do mostly for my kindergartner, and then for my soon-to-be third graders. They're doing the same series, Plants for Beginners. I think they're right on the end of it. I think it's supposed to be kindergarten through second, but we've never done any science curriculum with them. So we're going to see if that works. I still don't know what I'm going to do because they can't all usually sit at the same table and be taught. <laughs> so I bought the same thing thinking it'd make it easier for me and now I'm like wait that means I'm teaching the same exact thing over and over. We'll see how it goes. Maybe they'll be able to sit together. We are finishing up our McRuffy math because we started it later in the year for second grade but we'll actually finish it I think before Christmas so we can go ahead and get their third so we'll get their third grade and it actually works with the same manipulative so I'm so excited about that. We just started level two. We finished level one just a few months ago, so we just started level two of All About Spelling. So I'm excited to get into that. I've used this program with my boys all the way through all the levels, and they're pretty good spellers, so I feel like it worked really well. For language arts, um, we don't actually use the Good and the Beautiful's language arts and literature for the actual language arts. I use it for reading because I felt like my girls needed a little extra boost, and we're actually, I think we're about halfway. Um, so we just, we use some of the grammar stuff if I feel like it's stuff that they might, they maybe need and it will help them with their other grammar program, but otherwise I skip it and we just do the reading. We don't do any of the spelling through here. For handwriting, I could not find something I wanted. They are not ready for cursive and my husband was a huge fan of the handwriting without tears cursive that I had actually taught the boy, had the boys learn. He wanted the more traditional style if they're going to learn it. Um, so for handwriting, I pretty much just make my own for them. For the my um, third graders, there's two of them, they're twins, and I used, a, I used just a bunch of quotes that I really, really like, and I'd already made some of these from before, and just made handwriting without tears kind of copy work, and then I wanted them to learn how to do some different style, so I found some free ones on actually um, Martin Luther Jr.'s, King Jr.'s um, speech because they love that speech. So I have this so that they can do that as well. And then I bought this a while ago and it didn't work for what I needed. So I bought it for my boys and it's too easy, but it actually has a really nice cursive. So, and I can copy this, it said, and use it for a family and it's for ancient history. So I thought this would be great for them and I might try to do that. And then for grammar, we are totally changing it up this year, changing everything. <laughs> I'm doing Teach Your Child to Read. I'm doing a totally different grammar program. I've never really liked my grammar programs um, for my early ages. And I've seen that this Winston grammar program is supposed to be hands-on and not as teacher intensive. So I'm hoping that that will work well for my girls. It's going to be a huge learning curve for me. I've never done it. And I got this thinking I could use it. And it does have some stuff that I could use for hands-on because they do so well with hands-on but it is for a little older grade, so we'll see how that goes. Um, so that is all for my third grade. And then my boys are gonna be in eighth grade, and they are going to be doing 
General Science 1 through Master Books. And what I like about this, um, this science, is that it actually has one book for each thing. So it's not going to just... I don't like intros and overviews. I like to delve in deep. So <laughs> I like that about this. And I went ahead and just printed. I got the PDF to make it easy for myself because last time I got the book and I copied everything and it was such a pain in the neck. So I got the PDF to make it easy and it was so much easier to print, but this is huge just so if you do it, it's big. And I, it has the schedule all out for them already, which I love. And then I put tabs, so it's for each book. The first one they're gonna do is weather. I'm so excited, we're in Oklahoma. We had so many tornado warnings this year and I realized that my boys didn't have a great knowledge of weather. And I was like, you know, let's let's do that. And then my oldest loves minerals. He is so excited about when we get to this section. And then they also have quizzes and tests. So the only thing I don't like a lot is that it is a lot of check work for me. Um, but that's fine for now, as long as we get some other stuff that I don't have to check. They're gonna work a little bit on their handwriting, like I said, we're not like 100% happy with their cursive. And um, my husband is actually doing a different book that's better and we like better. Um, and I don't have it right now, but this is the exact same style and I'm having them do a couple of these and I have to say my 11 year old, I can't tell which one is the example and which one is his. He always does that. He copies like he's cop like photocopying. It's crazy. We're gonna finish up Biblical Archaeology because we actually started this later in the year. I wasn't sure I wanted a history curriculum. Um, so far, the boys have liked it. The archaeology book was not, they didn't like as much because it's its kind of an overview. It skips around a lot. The Unwrapping the Pharaohs, they liked more because it's more in depth. We haven't gotten to the Unveiling the Kings yet. I did hear from my boys that they were kind of done <laughs> with, um, Egypt because we've been in it for so long. I kind of like went overboard with ancient ancient history <laughs> this year. Okay, so now that was a look at all the books that we you are going to be using, and then but um, I also have some of the Good and the Beautiful's um, readers, and they'll be using those, and some of Becca readers that my third graders will. And then my two boys that are going into the eighth grade. They'll be using some online curriculum as well. They're going to be finishing up video text for their math. And that was actually something Right Start had recommended as the next step. And it's been okay, but it's very dry. They seem to like the instruction okay, but there's not a lot of help. And there's a lot of checking. It's very, like, all I do feel like I do is check tests because they do a lot of testing, which I like their philosophy but it's very difficult and some of it it's a lot of checking for me and I feel like I don't do anything fun <laughs> with them I'm just doing all of the checking so this year I'd, their next curriculum I would really like to go ahead and go with something else that's online if possible so we're looking into doing teaching textbooks for their geometry program um, I think maybe they have a calculus too so that might be next I'm hoping, what I've seen is that it has a little bit more help and that it has um, all the grading online. So I'm going to look in, I, I want to do that. They do Brave Writer for their grammar. I love Brave Writer. Um, I usually get books that go along with what we're learning about. And they have so many good books that they have read and dissected. I've learned a lot. I really like it. The girls aren't quite ready for Brave Writer yet or I would switch them over to that for grammar because I feel like their dictation and re reverse dictation and French style dictation are really helping them to figure out how to write correctly and correct grammar. And then they will continue using Duolingo for Spanish and Khan Academy for programming. And that is it. This year I'm just trying to keep it as simple as possible and um, really just stay with the basics as much as I can. Thanks for watching.